Hello everyone, welcome to the Wadi channel. In this video, we are going to introduce you a new feature, which is an advanced feature of Wadi called the Google Spreadsheets integration. So for this integration, um, a lot of case that you have to uh, collect your your responses from user and you would like to collect it in a spreadsheet format. So we will show you how you can easily create an automated flow with the Google Spreadsheet plugin. Then you can directly insert the data to a Google Spreadsheet in order to centralize your data and collect your customer feedback or um, like you know, the data from the client response as well. Let's take a look. So in this Google Spreadsheet flow, you simply need to go to automation and create a new flow. So I make one as Google Spreadsheet. And on the left, if you click on the Google Spreadsheet integration, you will find that you need to add your Google account here. And after you create your Google account, link it to Wati, then you will need to choose the spreadsheet that you would like to write your data on and select the correct sheet to write on. So after you save it, you can check whether the data is correctly saved here in the flow. So you can see whether the Google account is correct and also the spreadsheet is the one that you have select. So after everything is created, we can go to the next step. In this sample flow, we have created three questions here to collect the client's um, name and their phone number and also their country. So this will be a sample flow to create uh, to collect these three different values from the customer. So let's take the Google spreadsheet here. We will choose the spreadsheet to save their data in and choose the corresponding uh, spreadsheet and the sheet to write on. And then we will need to make sure here the data is the same as the value as the column that we create in the Google spreadsheet. So the new row value, we will need to um, add it correspondingly to the answer of the client will give it back to us. So in the question part, you can create the answer of the client as a variable, so it will directly write on the spreadsheet. So this is a way that you can collect the client data and write the new data, create a new row on the Google spreadsheet to save it as a database and of course like later on after the data is right on the Google spreadsheet you can send a thank you message to your client. So let's try and uh, we can save the flow now and then we will see how it works in WhatsApp. So let's take a look in WhatsApp. Um, we will use the Google spreadsheet as a keyword to trigger the flow. Of course you can set your own keyword to trigger the flow. So Google spreadsheet and then um, they will ask my name. So just need to put down your name right here. And the next question will be the phone number. So that is simple. Just write down the phone number. And the last question will be the country. So okay, we will just randomly put on um, a place. Let's, pay, uh, let's say I'm now in Hong Kong, then I would just put Hong Kong as a country. Right, so you will see that I will directly receive a thank you message. And now let's go back to see what happened in the Google spreadsheet. Great, so uh, without us doing anything, the data is automatically added to the Google spreadsheet as a new role. So in this case, if you create a new workflow, then it will automatically add the data as a new row in the Google spreadsheet. So another feature other than just writing, inserting the new row, we can also update the value in the existing row. For example, if we use the Google spreadsheet again, we just need to choose the same account and spreadsheet that we have been using. Instead of insert a new row, we'll update a row here. So as you can see right here, uh, we have a new row um, as Hong Kong and then the number as one, two, three. We would like to change these two value to other thing to update the value of these two. So we will need an indicator of which column to change. For example, the phone number is starting from um, 98 something. This will be an indicator to change 
of that specific row. And later on, we'll change this two value update in the new column from 1 to 3 to 0, 0, 0. From country as Hong Kong, we will change it, for example, um, the country, um, let's change it to, to India, let's say. So we just make sure that we are confirming the column name here and the value we are changing it to, to India here. So let's save it and let's link this uh, spreadsheet so um, we can create something more. For example, if the spreadsheet is successfully updated, we will send a thank you message and if it's fault, uh, if it's like, you know, failed to update, then we will send a, a fallback message like failed. So now we can link it with different condition. Let's say with um, testing this one, if it is like um, successful, we will receive a thanks. If it's failed, we will receive a failed. Now we will save the flow. And let's try it in WhatsApp. So we will trigger the Google Spreadsheet flow again. Great. So because uh, we are using the exact same number, then you see the data is automatically upload, updated in the Google Spreadsheet. So from Hong Kong, it changed to India. New column, it is from value 1 to 3, changed to 0000. zero, zero, zero. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more contents from Wati, please like and comment below and hit the subscribe button. Thank you.